Here in Colorado, marijuana has been legal since 2012 and has generated millions in revenue for the state. Those are just some of the reasons why people out here told me the federal government should just leave the industry alone. From Colorado to California, there are dozens of states where marijuana is legal, but on a federal level, it's not. And now the federal government says it's no longer turning a blind eye. In this letter, Attorney General Jeff Sessions says prosecutors should follow principles that govern all federal prosecutions, in effect rescinding an Obama-era policy of discouraging federal prosecutors from charging marijuana-related crimes in states where it's legal. It remains to be seen what impact, if any, this is actually going to have. I asked Mason DeVert, a marijuana legalization advocate, who could potentially be impacted most. This certainly could create some complications for business owners and for those engaging in these types of large financial or business transactions, but it is not really going to have any sort of immediate effect on consumers because that's an activity that is largely dealt with by state and local officials. Still, he doesn't expect this to deter more states from pushing for legalization. More than 60% of Americans support making marijuana use legal. Just days ago, California legalized marijuana outright, making it the eighth state to do so. And 29 states have legalized medical marijuana. In Colorado, where residents voted to legalize marijuana, people we spoke with say the federal government should respect that decision. I just don't think it's the federal government's uh, place um, to, you know, when states have voted it in, to come in and say no. For the now, I'm Kamasi Aaron.